Hello viewers, this is Wagadaruna taking you through today's tutorial on how to calculate the resultant force of a system of forces which form either a square or a rectangle. So previously we saw that the resultant force of a given number of forces can be given by this formula, summation of i from 1 to n of fi cos theta and fi sin theta all having plus or minus and we saw what these minus and positive mean where theta is the angle to the horizontal so we shall use that knowledge to go through this problem so problem one in a square abcd three forces of magnitudes four five six seven and eight act along a b b c d c d a and CA respectively. Their directions are in the order of the letters. Taking a bit as horizontal, find the magnitude of the resultant force. We have added another part. Instead of finding only the magnitude, we shall find both magnitude and direction of the resultant force. So the first step is to list them down. 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So 4 corresponds to AB, 5 corresponds to BC, 6 corresponds to DC, 7 corresponds to DA, 8 corresponds to CA. So after doing that, we shall now draw our square and label the letters in an anticlockwise direction, A, B, C, D. Starting with AB as the horizontal because that's what was said in the question. After labeling our square, we shall now put the forces. 4 corresponds to AB, so come to AB, put 4. 5 corresponds to BC, so come to BC, put 5. 6 corresponds to DC, so come to DC, put 6. 7 corresponds to DA, so come to DA, put 7. 8 corresponds to CA, so come to CA and put 8. So that's our complete diagram. The next is now to convert them to vector form. Shall start with 4. 4 is entirely horizontal, so in vector form it will be 4, 0, no component vertically. 5 is entirely vertical, meaning the horizontal component will be 0 and entirely it will be 5. 6 is entirely horizontal, so it will be 6, 0. 7 is entirely vertical but downwards, meaning it will be 0, negative 7. 8 is at an angle of 45. So in this case, horizontally, it is negative 8, cos 45, and vertically, it will be negative 8, sine 45, which is that. Now, when we use the calculator up, the horizontal component will give us 10 minus 4, root 2. The vertical component will give us negative 2 minus 4, root 2. When we use the calculator, we shall get 4.3431 for the horizontal and negative 7.6569 for the vertical. So the horizontal is positive, vertical is negative. Positive, negative. We get a right angle triangle. So to get F, we shall use Pythagoras theory, which is here. So magnitude of the force will be this squared plus this squared, everything under root. So we get 8.8029 newtons as our magnitude. For the direction, you have to get this angle opposite adjacent. So, we shall use tan. So, tan theta is equal to 7.6569 divided by 4.3431. And to give us our theta as 60.4375 degrees. Well, after getting the magnitude of the direction, you will come and conclude that the magnitude of the resultant force is 8.80 to 9 newtons acting in the direction 60.4375 degrees below the horizontal. So we shall go to another problem which involves a rectangle. So here we are given a rectangle ABCD. AB is 4 meters. BC is 3 meters. And the forces of magnitude 3, 10, 4, 6 and 5 act in the direction of the letters AB, BC, CD, DA and SC respectively. So taking a B as horizontal, find the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. Like we have done previously, we have to first state the force and the direction. Force and the direction, force and the direction for all. 
After that, we shall draw our rectangle and label an in an anticlockwise direction. So A, B, C, D. We are starting with AB horizontal because they told us take AB as horizontal. So we shall now include our forces. For AB it is 3 newtons. So come on AB put 3. BC it is 10. So come to BC put 10. And 4 it is 4. CD so you put CD here. 4. 6 is for DA. So you put 6 there. And lastly S is for 5. So you put your 5 there. Then you also have this angle. It's no longer now 45. 45 is when it's a square. But in this case, we shall use the sides given. They told us AB is 4 and BC is 3. So we shall use that to get this angle theta. SC will be 3 squared plus 4 squared, everything under root, to give you 5 meters. So that means that sine is opposite over a hypotenuse to give you 3 over 5, which is 0 0.6. And cos theta will be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse to give you 4 over 5, which is 0 0.8. Having known the angle, shall now go to resolving. 3 is entirely horizontal, so it will be 3, 0. 10 is entirely vertical, so it will be 0, 10. 4 is entirely horizontal, so it will be but to the left, meaning it will be negative 4, 0. And... We also have 6, which is entirely vertical, but downwards, meaning it will be 0, negative 6, and 5, horizontally, it will be 5 cos theta, which is there, and vertically, it will be 5 sin theta. So when you add all these ones, 3 plus negative 4 plus 0, we shall get negative 1, then plus 5 times cos theta, which is 0 0.8. For the vertical part, we have... 10 minus 6 to give you 4. Then 5 times sine theta, which is 0 0.6, to give you that. So when you add this, you shall get 3. And the vert one for the vertical shall get 7. Therefore, the magnitude will be 3 squared plus 7 squared, everything under root, to give you 7.6157 newtons. So horizontality is positive, verticality is positive. So you shall say positive, positive. From start to end gives the resultant, and this will be your angle. The angle, the direction of the resultant will be got by opposite adjacent, so it will be 7 over 6, 7 over 3, to give you alpha as 66.8014 degrees. Out of that, we shall conclude that the magnitude of the resultant force is 7.6157 newtons, acting in the direction 66.8014 degrees above the positive horizontal. So that brings us to the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, ROA, a learning platform. I remain Wagada Ronald. Thank you.